Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a super quick capture one tip for you and I, this one's just a little bit of fun so I want to show you how to do a kind of a dual exposure effect in, directly within capture one without having to use any additional software. So this is the kind of thing that you might see with uh, like a toy camera or you know something kind of um, special effecty <laughs> to use the word. It's not a proper multiple exposure effect um, because we're not using multiple images. But um, let me just show you what I mean because uh, it's one of those things that will be better explained once you see it. So to do this, I'm using the new heel tool in Capture 120 version 13.1. So select your heel tool, just create a kind of a large brush and then just brush across the screen like so and give it a second to do a thing. Okay, so you can see it's kind of duplicated this and we can just kind of move this around like so, and then just lower the exposure. And there is our multiple exposure effect. So we can kind of continue to adjust this and we can create, we can make the mask area bigger. And again, give it a second. We have kind of two effects going on here now, so we can adjust both of these. Okay, and then we can control the opacity of the overall layer, like so. And kind of, this is the kind of thing that you'd normally see on like a toy film camera. So just to kind of give this an extra little bit, I'm going to use a style, and just to give it a kind of a film effect. So, user styles and I'm going to use my own teen egg which is my own film effects and uh, it's just something like that and there you have it and you can continue to kind of just play with it and move some of these around just to kind of get the effect the way you want it and then let go again and so there you have it there is a simple dual exposure or multiple exposure effect. Um, like I said, it's just a bit of fun. It's nothing too serious. It's one of those things that I think it's kind of, it's an interesting use of a tool that wasn't in a way that it probably wasn't really meant for it to be used. Um, and the reason I'm using the heel tool rather than the clone tool is with the heel tool, it kind of tries to blend everything in together. So uh, as I said, it creates an interesting effect. So. Anywho, um, I hope you have found this useful, or at least a little bit interesting, and thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. See you next time.